Hello dear students, this is Manisha Verma, Lecturer Biology, Government Model Senior Secondary School, Ani. Today starting with our plus two course, now first topic that is reproduction in organisms. Now what is reproduction? Reproduction as you have studied from your basic classes, simply it is ability of an organism to produce a copy of itself. In order to survive on this planet, survive on the earth and in order to perpetuate itself. So what is reproduction? Reproduction is the ability of an organism ओपर सिचुएशन मींस अपनी रेस को आगे बढ़ाना कोई भी एनिमल या ऑर्गेनिज्म ये नहीं चाहेगा कि उसके साथ ही उसकी स्पीशीज का अंत हो जाए एंड हो जाए हर एक ऑर्गेनिज्म ये कोशिश करता है कि वो अर्थ पे अपने जाने के बाद काफी सारे उसकी तरह से इंडिविजुअल छोड़ के जाए तो दिस एबिलिटी ऑफ मेकिंग द कॉपी ऑफ इटसेल्फ इज कॉल्ड रिप्रोडक्शन वी ऑल नो एवरी इंडिविजुअल takes birth and every individual dies. These processes are inevitable. Now, this duration of between birth to death, this duration between birth and death is referred to as lifespan. lifespan it varies greatly for organism to organism there are certain microorganisms who have who have lifespan of just few hours there are some insects whose lifespan ranges from a day to a few month or more to few years so in the same way there are many animals the, those lifespans are also very variable plants have longer life spans so we will write down some examples there is one insect known as mayfly mayfly has a life span of 24 hours 24 hours means one day That's why this insect, this mayfly, is also known as one day insect. So, this insect basically it is born in 24 hours, it reproduces in those 24 hours, and thereafter dies in one day only. This is mayfly, and we have certain other insects. Like dragonfly, dragonflies can survive up to two to four months. In the same way, houseflies, houseflies have a life span of near about four weeks or say one month. So 
so these were example of certain insects now we will talk about life span of certain animals for example tortoise has a average life span of 100 to 200 years Parrot has a lifespan of about 95 years. So you have, uh, you must note that plants have longer lifespans as compared to animals. For example, people tree. It has a average lifespan of which in which 
organism will reproduce. Now, this phase, after this phase, comes the next phase that is aging or senescence. Aging or senescence, aging. getting old. So, जैसे जैसे एज बढ़ती जाती है वैसे वैसे जो हमारे बॉडी के सिस्टम्स हैं वो उतना अच्छी तरह से काम नहीं करते जितना कि पहले करते रहते हैं तो दैट प्रोसेस ऑफ गेटिंग ओल्ड इज नोन एज एजिंग Now, what is senescence? They have minute differences among themselves. This senescence means that the changes which body, जो body में आ चुके हैं changes in the process of getting old, these changes here become irreversible. The changes which have come in the body. They now become irreversible. Changes in the body become irreversible, and this stage particularly is concerned with the loss of cellular function. That is, cells cease to divide or cells stop to divide. Loss of cellular function. Now, most of these cells they stop dividing, they stop repairing themselves. So, this is aging or senescence that is process of getting old, and our body system are progressively getting weak and weak and weak. Ultimately, this aging and senescence it terminates into death. That is complete termination of life. That is. Complete termination of life and life systems. So this were these were the various stages of the life span. Now, in this unit and in these chapters, which we will uh, follow in the next videos, we will talk mainly about this stage of the lifespan, that is reproductive maturity or reproduction. Now, we will study about various modes of reproduction. Reproduction is broadly categorized into two categories. It is asexual and sexual. Asexual reproduction basically this kind of reproduction we say when the reproduction is uniparental when only one parent is involved in the reproduction. Asexual reproduction is also known as agamogenesis. Parent cell. So, there are 
two main kinds of cell division that is mitosis and meiosis. So type of cell division that will take place in the asexual reproduction is mitotic only. Mitosis. So there is no two parents. So there is no meiosis. No meiosis means no recombination. So here there is no recombination. There are no ganglions. The new daughter cells form. They are the exact copies of their parent cell. That's why they are known as clones. Exact copies of their parents. So this was asexual reproduction, organism in which such kind of reproduction occurs. Amoeba, Paramecium. bacteria etc now we will talk about sexual reproduction in sexual reproduction we can also name it as gamogenesis or gamogen because in sexual reproduction, first of all, it is biparental. Biparental means in sexual reproduction, there needs to be a male and female every time reproduction occurs. Now, gamogenesis means here in sexual reproduction, there is one female gamete and there is one male gamete. That's why it is known as Gamogenesis means in sexual reproduction gametes are formed of opposite sexes that is male and female and it is always biparental. Now the kind of cell division taking place here is both mitosis and meiosis. So when Meiosis is occurring means here recombination is occurring and recombination produces variation. So here recombination takes place. Recombination and variation. Here the individuals, the daughter cells or the progeny, it is not the exact copy of their parents, it is variant. We can call them recombinants or variants. Example or higher. Mostly, it doesn't mean that sexual reproduction do not happen in smaller or lower uh, organism. But uh, just for example sake, I have written all higher 